Okay, well we are going to kick this off with um, talking about one of our most important things, ways to build our business, meet people, um, share the products, and that is doing parties. So I know when I started, we are all doing parties. We are doing a lot of parties. Who's gotten away from doing parties? Anyone else? Um, I think there's so many things you can do and a party can be, it can be one person, it can be two people, it can be called whatever you want. It can be a set called a session, there's sample parties, uh, wine parties, all, all kinds of different things. It doesn't matter, it matter where you're wrapping someone or getting together with them, we do them at coffee shops, Walmart dressing rooms, I wrap someone in the bathroom on a plane. Um, you can do this business absolutely anywhere. And I think all, no matter what we call it, how we dress it up, how we invite it, it all boils down to the same thing. I think it's like when you go to Taco Bell. It's all tacos. There's a hard shell, there's a soft shell, there's a flat one, there's this one, this has two shells. It all boils down to it's a frickin' taco. <laughs> all the same thing. So whatever party you do, it all ends up to, and here's a wrap and here's some greens, and here's this, and we want you to be a loyal customer or a distributor. So it all goes to the same thing, no matter how we dress it up. So um, starting off, Kelly is going to talk about doing um, a successful launch, which is really important in your business. If you haven't done a launch, or it's been a while, do another party. Um, I love just saying, when you're new, getting together, people saying, I need to do a practice party, because it takes any pressure off people, people are more inclined to show up for a practice party. It's the same dang thing as a party. But you say practice and everyone shows up because they want to see you fail at it. <laughs> up. So, and you can't because it's just practice. So just keep practicing. Okay, so how many of you guys have trouble doing um, successful launch parties? Show of hands. Anyone? Okay, so there's a chunk of you. So here is something that I um, that I do. There's a few different ways you can do um, launch parties. Oh, I'll yeah, you I'll take that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little easier. Though. I should have grabbed this. I know that. So, um, but one of the things that I do to do a successful launch party is I tell, like Lori was saying, I use different words. So one of the words that I use is, hey, can I invite you over to sample some of my It Works products for free? and put free in there, please put free in there. Because typically people, when they hear free, it clicks in their head like, I wanna show up, I wanna try these products for free. I wonder if I'm gonna get to try a wrap for free, okay? Now, here's the other thing is that I have successful parties when I do parties. Here's part of the reason why, is because I'm using free, I'm using sample, I'm using all of those keywords for people because then they're gonna come, they're gonna try the product, they're gonna listen to my testimonials and others' testimonials, and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, these products really do work because they get to try it and sample it and touch it and feel it. And that is so key for people. So that's what I tell people is I typically, I don't leave a party without signing four to six loyal customers, typically. Now, there, there, you have those where you sign none, but I can say in the last six years since I've been in this business, there's only been a handful of parties that I haven't signed yet a loyal customer or distributor from. And I never say never because eventually they usually come back around. So um, when you are inviting people to launch parties, um, what I do is, you can do it a few ways. You can do word of mouth. Um, you can also invite through Facebook. But one thing that I'm finding is lately is a lot of people are getting lost through Facebook invites because they're seeing masses and masses and masses of people getting invited. So what I tell people is, is hey, you know what, let's, go, let's do a text message to like 10 of your friends asking them to come over to sample some of these products for free. Because that is like the best way. They want to feel special. They don't want to feel like, oh, I'm one out of a hundred that you just invited. So making that personal relationship with them is so key in the very beginning. So doing a successful launch party, and you know what, if someone does not want to do a launch party, I ask them if we can do an online launch party. And now what I mean by that is actually that little new it's been a few months, I guess, but um, the live stream, actually, I just did, two weeks ago, I did my very first live launch party, and actually, it worked really, really well. I was impressed that it um, had great results, but the thing that they're missing is they don't get to touch it, feel it, and be in front of them, and that's what I like. That's, that's how I built my business. 
was doing um, parties and doing launch parties. So this is something that I feel like if you are, if you've never tried a party, if you've never had a successful party, you know what, it might not be for you and that's okay, but it's going to be for someone in your downline, so keep doing it. Um, and that's where I just feel like a lot of it has, I've lost a lot of my momentum in my business from not doing parties because it gets me excited because I'm wrapping people, I'm touching people, and I feel like I'm changing their lives when I'm doing that. So when you are doing launch parties, focus. Focus on um, the products, focus on the person and the results that they've had with, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the biggest thing is also if you have a distributor that's new the more distributors you have with you so one or two even three I bring them to launch parties and say you know what they're just here to train with me today and they're just here to watch because the excitement grows in the room so with a launch party there's just a few key things that I tell people be excited don't say it. you don't have to say party you can switch it and say sample social um, I do, I also tell people, hey, do you mind if I bring a non-alcoholic thing of wine and if you want to add alcohol, you're more than welcome to. Um, I do the, the margaritas usually in the summertime because a lot of people are really busy um, during the summer and so I tell them, I'm like, you know what, hey, let's get the girls together and let's do a, let's do a little sample social and I will bring a, a thing of margarita mix because this is something that gets them together, gets them excited. They're thinking, I want to be outside, I want to be in the war because we live in Minnesota or North Dakota or wherever. So it's just one of those things where it's like, get a reason, have a reason for them to get together. So that's basically it. Oh, good Lord. Good. Very good. <laughs> good job, Karen. Denise Manny, up next. All right. So I'm going to talk about, um, I do a lot of spa days and so right now is our busy time of year with all of our events. So we're doing events and everybody's giving away spa days or many facials. Um, I'm big at um, getting, I love to be in front of people, so that's what I like to do. So spa day, you can do a little bit of, um, so what I do is either, it's a mini facial, so you get to um, give them away samples of the cleanser, the toner, the exfoliating peel, lip and eye cream, preventive age, repair age, you know, you can do defining gel samples, um, things like that. You don't have to buy it all to do it. So if you have a few of the skin line, you know, that's an amazing way to get into the home and offer these people, you know, hey, you want, you and your, you and five of your friends want uh, spa day. How exciting is that? You're going to get to sample my favorite <coughs> which is the skin line. But bonus, you're all going to be able to sample our flagship product, which is that crazy wrap thing. So you can actually take a body wrap and cut that into six pieces. So see how, has everybody, anybody done spa days? Who does spa days? Show hands, okay. All right, so y'all know how you can cut the wrap into six, six chin wraps so that each guest can actually experience the actual toning and tightening and firming of the wrap on their chin. So you're get, being able to get in front of six, six plus people and um, do this, which I have to um, Let's see. So when I first get into the home, I give them a product guide, and within the product guide is our um, order form. So everybody already has that. So it's already in there. So when we get down, everybody's sitting. So I don't do sign-in sheets with spa days. I just give them the order form, and we sit down and just start chatting. I have the diffuser going with the oils. We just kind of do um, some small talk, <coughs> things like that. I ask everybody um, before I start to fill out that front page of that order form. It doesn't matter if you're going to order or not. I would just love for you to fill out that front page of that order form. And at the end of the night, I'm going to take everybody's front page and I'm going to do a drawing. And you guys are going to win something cool, you know. And you can give away whatever you want to. If you want to give away cottage, you can do that. Um, the Dollar Tree has got some pretty sweet things. We now have our sugar scrubs that you can make homemade sugar scrubs and bath bombs. So you can totally get away with making your prizes inexpensive. Um, so what I do is I get everybody sat down. We kind of make our little jokes. And um, we do the cleanser. Everybody then is going to do the exfoliating peel. So they're going to be sitting there stuck for 15 minutes. So that's when I personally go through the party pad. Even though it's a spa day and it's not a wrap party, we're still going to go over that party pad. And I'm going to share, you know, all sections of the party pad with those people because it's a taco. 
Because it's a taco. That's right. It's a taco. Actually, I like the meat and potato burrito, but it's a taco. Um, so then we get done with the, um, the party pad. They rinse off their exfoliating peel. Then I'm going to do the little spritz of the toner. And then I'm going to have everybody apply that chin wrap. So now guess what? They're stuck with me for 45 more minutes. So that's what I'm going to go through and kind of share uh, the products in the product guide. And to me, every product is my favorite product, so <coughs> we go over all those wonderful things. And then we play some more games. So this is your opportunity to get them on Facebook. So you're going to get in front of, you know, five other people that you don't know. And this is how you can get them on Facebook. So I like to play games with, um, so even though they don't have the body wrap on, they're still going to experience tingling, tightening, and firming because they have it on their chin. So now if they put a post and take me in their post, um, you know, I got the I got some tingling going. Um, my gobbler is disappearing. I mean, I've got <laughs> so many weird things on that, and then they take me with these posts, and then the people that get the most likes, then I have another gift for that person. And again, your gifts do not have to be expensive gifts. You know, if you can't afford to give, you know, green samples or raw samples, the Dollar Tree has some amazing things there. Um, so those are the two kind of games that I like to play. Um, one of the things that, I guess, I didn't do that. When I do drawings and things like that, um, like right now for a vendor event, so I'm giving away spa days, um, and I'm booking spa days out for future dates, so like January, February, March, things like that. Um, I feel that I can hold those events or, and dates in my book better by offering, and I'll honestly say, um, <coughs> You have a minute. Oh, is that three? What is the one? <laughs> You're number one. You are number one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pressure's on to these. The world. <laughs> okay. Um, so I tell the person who won the spot day that they want a free wrap. I value your time. My time's important too. So if we're gonna book this day out for February, I'll wrap you for free that day of your spot day. So then when you open it up, you want to make sure that spot or that wrap is on the gal that's hosting. Um, going back to inviting people, I don't like Facebook invites. I don't use Facebook anymore. I have my hostess um, text message her friends, hey, what are you doing Saturday night, or what are you doing Thursday night, whatever day it is, and then they're going to reply back, nothing, and then we'll say, okay, good, be at my house at 6 o'clock, because I have a spot day. You're going to get pampered, so make sure you're here. You're not leaving that door open for them to make excuses. Um, so I do like that. I don't know why I went on too much. That's all you get. Okay. okay. So basically, you guys, keep it really simple. You don't have to have this bag, but have something together. So if someone calls you, you need to get out the door and go do things, you have it. Keep it simple. Just You don't have to bring a whole lot. Um, you know, basically going by what's on the party pad. But just get out there and show the products. And I'm just amazed at how many people have never walked through the party pad and actually said it out loud in front of someone other than their dog or cat. So you need to do that, just practice, it's really simple. I just blew mine up so that I can hold it. I don't give it to people to look at because then they're not, they're playing with them, they're not looking at me and listening to what I'm telling them. So that's, that's what I've done. So keep it simple, have fun with it. You don't have to know everything about the products. I certainly do not. There's everyone in the room here that I'm gonna ask if I don't have the answer to a question. So that's a wrap. It's a couple. Awesome, thank you guys. I got some great tips. I love it. Okay, real quick, we're going to go on to the next thing, but something I forgot that I want you guys all to do as we're getting the day started, I want all of you to write down on a piece of paper right now a goal that you have for yourself for 2017. <coughs> What do you want to accomplish in 2017? You all definitely should have thought about this by now, or you should definitely be on the right track. So I want you just to write down one thing that you want to accomplish in 2017, and then just go ahead and save that for later, okay? All right, our next panel is follow-up and retention with Pam Hadler and Denise Manny. So Denise, you get to be up here again. <laughs> so let's give them a round of applause. My name is Pam Hadler, and um, we're excited to just share some tips. You just gonna sit down and chill a little bit. Yeah. Oh, well, you go first, right? 
Yeah, I'm going first. Okay. She's the black star. <laughs>